Ugh, time to get back to work. Hey Forum, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station, and this one is on my top five work fragrances. And just so you know, work-wise, this list is more geared towards what I am more familiar with at work, something along the lines of a more conventional office space, white collar environment. So with that being said, I feel like I have to look for three different things in a scent. One, affordable price, because I'll be using it daily at work and I wouldn't want to keep restocking something niche and super expensive. Two, sheer likability, because you don't want to use a scent that is too challenging, that will annoy certain workers at work and three performance but a certain style of performance you want this to last the entire workday but you also don't want it to project too much you want to be pleasant to work around but you don't want to be the life of the party i mean at least that's a vibe i'm going for when i'm at work but we may as well finally get on with this list shall we and this is in no specific order whatsoever i feel pretty confident about all of these so hopefully you find something here that fits your list of demands starting with this Bulgari Aqua Amara. Now I love AA because it tells an awesome story and it's perfect for work. So with its citrusy, marine, and frankincense vibes, it's super evocative of the Mediterranean and surrounding areas like advertised, but doesn't feel too experimental either. So with its still somewhat conventional approach in mind, if it leans anywhere occasion-wise, it's definitely work. However, despite some of these notes looking reminiscent to more modern day generic scents that I may or may not name for the rest of this list, trust me, this stuff does not tread in that way whatsoever because while those scents may be more reminiscent of the masculine bath products out there this again i can't emphasize enough is definitely a more mariner type scent just some of the finest stuff the mediterranean has to offer on the designer level so that's why it makes this list again it's aqua amara by bulgari moving on to the next top best work scent now and i wasn't lying to you about that modern day generic stuff because here we go it's the eau de toilette version of bleu de chanel by chanel my favorite concentration of bleu de chanel in the eau de toilette has the best part of all the bleu de chanel's out there for me and that is it's more vibrant longer lasting grapefruit opening note like i love that shit because it's so much more dispersed more friendly and juicier smelling and the other bdc's while smoother overall i feel like transition into bath products almost too quickly and if i get more compliments with the vibrant eau de toilette concentration right here then all the better so if you fancy the modern shower gel type vibe too again this is the best in class in my personal opinion the eau de toilette concentration of bleu de chanel by chanel on the best work fragrances period but moving on let's kick it old school i think this is exactly what this list needs, Platinum Ego East, also by Chanel. Now, Plat is one of my forever bays throughout the years, and despite being on my second bottle now, with this stuff being beyond a shadow of a doubt reformulated, it still gets me through my workday longevity-wise with its still super metallic style, as indicated by the name and presentation. For its time, though, it was super groundbreaking too, as its scent is seemingly forever associated with that early, mid-90s era, so if dated doesn't remotely appeal to you, I would say look elsewhere. However, if you do potentially fancy this vibe and you do decide to reach for it in the workplace just be careful with your dosage if you overspray this it has potential to come off as too sharp so please do watch your spray count that being said for me i'll forever use this stuff steely nature to help me focus at work like it doesn't serve me much of a purpose besides feeling like a get shit done fragrance with its more austere vibe but i love it for that i think it's a go for that and that's why it makes a list again platinum egoist by chanel the quintessential 90s office fragrance now moving on in this best of work list here we go it's Icon by Dunhill. This stuff is really cool because it blends a lot of notes that men typically love in fragrances like citrus, spices, aromatic florals like lavender, and woodsy notes like oud even, but it comes out smelling fairly uniquely. Like it has that modern day staple bergamot opening that's in everything, but it's very juicy and inviting and done uniquely here. But to keep you and others interested, that pepperiness is also fairly prominent and pleasant, and it dries down aromatic and woody for both a classic and contemporary gentlemanly wear. I also feel like it's not too hard to hunt this scent down with my nose in any sage too, so that's also a plus. And yeah, I just really don't hate anything about this scent, period. It's just a great ride for both modern and vintage vibes simultaneously. So if that's something that you're into, check this out already if you've yet to. Again, it's Icon by Dunhill. But finally, on to my last spot, but definitely not least, definitely my most reach for scent in the last three years for work, it's Terre Hermes Eau de Toilette by Hermes. And the reason I reach for it so often is because if I ever had a cold weather staple fragrance for work ever, it's this. Terre has woodier, dirtier elements, yes, but it's also a fairly clean vetiver with a beautiful orangey opening. And unfortunately, I don't have many fresher fragrances that can even cut through me just walking outside from my car and into my job site in the rugged Canadian weather. Deadass, other work fragrances are just toast at that point, but I can always count on Terre to hold it down for me performance-wise. And as always, I feel like I 
I kind of have to say this because it's kind of mature, but ladies seem to really love this off of me, regardless of how old I was when I started rocking this. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about this one much longer because I always talk about it. In closing, it's gentlemanly, clean, woody, orangey with a little bit of bite. Again, it's Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette by Hermes. So there you go, Forum. Hopefully you enjoyed my best work picks for 2019. If you got something out of this and you're happy for it, great. I really appreciate you for watching. And if that's the case, please be sure to like this video because it really helps me out. And as always, if we reach 500 likes, a random subscriber in the comments gets an assorted niece fragrance sample pack. It's the least I can do. Can't wait to hear what you guys think of these work picks though. But until then, that's it for me. So thanks again for watching and the ongoing support. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. Wear your fragrances.